Hi, everybody. Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to the penultimate race of this year's Sprint Cup season, the Cobalt Tools 500. Every team in the chase is hoping to come out of Phoenix with maximum points going into the season's final race next week at Homestead. So it's a matter of resource management, conserving what you've got, and getting good track position. Things are going to tighten up. As we get near the end of the chase, this is a very, very critical race. All right, Daryl, time to go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the finale of the round of eight here in the NASCAR 15 season here at the Phoenix Raceway, where we are going to be starting right about the 16th place area here. We, of course, myself and Brad Keselowski, both of us already locked into the championship four with our victories in this round. We already door check Clint Boyer in the corner. He gets sent in there, trying to send it into 13th, 14th place here. Into Biffle, already off of Keselowski. Slightly bounced off the wall here through turn one, two. Now down the dog leg on the back. Such a big hit, a huge wiggle by A.J. Almany right there. He nearly wrecked. Actually, that was uh, Blaney on our side. Then we give Boyer the bumper, move him up out of the way here in the corner. As we try to move into 13th, but the car seems to be really, really tight here. Things we need to make some adjustments right now. Way to the big wiggle down the racetrack, nearly wrecking. An incredible series. Now, Clint Boyer's getting into us. We're getting, hitting everybody. Now goes Boyer, championship contender, and the caution is out here in Phoenix for the first time. Championship contender, Clint Boyer, into the wall. As he gets into us, we get into him and send him spinning into the wall. And his championship hopes are not looking great at the current moment. This time, we come down pit road, get all the adjustments in the world. And fresh tires still taking fuel. We start back in 43rd. We're already moving our way up into 40th in the top 40 now. Passing Joy Logano. Our championship contender as well as Vickers. We got four championship contenders back here. Myself, Logano, Boyer, Vickers. Not running where they, we need to be running right now. Especially those guys that they want to transfer to the championship before. Joining myself and Keselowski. Now going inside of the 25. Chase a little bit of contact. Send them up. In the wall they go. We stay green. Him and Danica back there as we move into 31st. Have to have a big lift here on the exit of two. I'm sorry, exit of four. Contact right there. Sliding behind us is David Dillon. He said he's at the fastest lap of the race. 27, 37. Move the 43. Val Marola. We'll hang on to it. An incredible save right there. Eric Count with door checking guys behind us there. But we move into 28th now. So now we're comfortably inside the top 30. As we try to work our way up in the top 25 next. As Jimmy Johnson, chase contender, leading this race right now. That's very crucial as he came into this race. Minus one to the playoff cut line. Now he's leading exactly what he needs to be doing right now. Almendinger sets a new fastest lap. We are a tenth off of him. And we send it by the 34 of David Reagan and Trevor Bain. We move into 23rd place now. Some contact. He slides up there. We slide in the wall right there. Not what we want to do at all. But we are still gaining positions in time as we gain so much time by cutting the dog leg compared to everyone else on the racetrack and it's just we're so good right now so we're 22nd but the thing is this car is just very tight as it gets around the middle to the exit of the corners obviously we made some adjustments to make the car looser on the pit stop we're gonna try to do that and probably need to make some more there on the next pit stop kind of there in the back of jamie mcmurray so we tried to move into 21st place as we get a nice you know green flag run a little bit of a rhythm going here right now as we Chase down McMurray. There's a seven Regan Smith underneath Menard Kozlowski. Oh, Menard wipes out in the wall with Regan Smith. We stay green. We go into the wall right there, and we bounce off of it there, but we clear Menard underneath Jamie Mack for 19th. As you're now in the top 20 with 24 laps. Here we set underneath Brad Keselowski. He goes up in the wall back there. He continues on down this side. Ryan Blaney for 17. Some contact. Big wiggle from ourselves. We hang on to it. We save it. We continue going in the right direction. As we try to move forwards here, gain these positions going by the 21 of Blaney. Now chasing down Tony Stewart in the 14. Oh, way, way up there. Into Blaney. Oh, in the wall goes Blaney. Contact made. We both save it though. Now you're going to pull the inside of Tony Stewart's number 14. We do. We sail right on past it. There's a Three. Oh my god, Austin Dillon just pounded the fence back there, and that's a caution. Are you serious, man? That is a questionable yellow for this like thousandth week in a row. Austin Dillon bounces off the wall, caution comes out. You know, he's kept going and he was fine. Now, Oscar, a little has a little trigger happy there on the yellow button. This time, we come down pit road with most of the field, and we are all the way back in 32nd here. And uh, now we got to work our way forward. There's a change between Tony Stewart. Already giving the bump. Move him right out of the way. And around goes Stewart behind us. The 14 wipes out completely. And we're running into guys here under caution. We're going to get slowed down in time. We get Tony Stewart with the bumper. He goes up the track and spins himself off of the 34. 
And he gets hit there by Joey Logano in the 22. And Tony Stewart being in a virtual must-win situation. He cannot afford this kind of mistake mid-race. As now we move up to 19 laps to go. We restart here in the 17th spot. As we clear Paul Menard there to secure 17th here. In the th 1 and 2 here we go by Cole on the inside. Use him up there. We slide up the track into the wall. We go. Costing a situation. And oh, bounce off the wall again as we try to. We can't quite clear ourselves off of Menard or else we'd be spinning in the inside wall. It's not something we want. Now we really send it in super deep in the corner and absolutely clean out AJ Allmendinger and Ricky Stenhouse. And in frustration, we're going to go head on into the pit barrels and we all get an absolutely hellacious hit to the pit barrels flying. Our car is destroyed somehow. We did not DNF from that. But you see here in the back, if you can see me go flying into the pit barrels, I mean, look at that. Boom! An explosion back there. I mean, we're still lucky we didn't DNF. That was the stupidest thing I have ever done in this game. That is not a lie at all. That's the absolute truth. And that was stupid and dumb, but we pit, get repairs, adjustments, tires, fuel, all that normal stuff. And now we got to come back from dead last. Moving now into 38th, even though J.J. Yaley just forced the bounce. Oh, we get clipped off the 34, and around we go. David Reagan just turned us as we came down the track, but I think it was more me there coming down on the 34 here, coming down the dog leg. He didn't lift, neither did I. We both came down, crashed into each other hard. We go spinning. He spins, hits the wall, and we both remain at the back of the field in a... Tough race so far. As now we get back underway here with 15 to go. Halfway point. Already passed that. As you race Josh Wise. Uh, David Reagan once again. And Casey Mears back here trying to work our way back up through this pack right now. After the struggles that we have just been through here in these last couple of restarts and all these cautions. As now we make a big move there down the dog leg. Moving here into... Uh, Three and four, moving our way up in the top three. The Biffle, oh, he slides. He saves it. We slide. We're getting hit into different cars. We're on the side of Michael Walter. We make an incredible save right there. But McMurray, Reagan, and Kenseth take advantage on the bottom line. Into the side of Kenseth once again. Into McMurray. Oh, and up the track. He was in the wall. He wipes out hard. And that's a caution. Absolutely just destroyed Jamie McMurray right there. Not what we intend to do. We give him a bump and he overcorrects. Wipes out hard into David Reagan who gets some air time. They both go crashing hard into the wall. Caution comes out once again. We stay on the racetrack. Now we're going to restart in 19th place here with 12 laps to go. We're getting back into contention here. We're just right behind our fellow teammate and chasing her, Jimmy Johnson. Right in front of him is Casey Kane. And oh, we give Jimmy the bumper and completely move him out of the way. Our Hendrick teammates are looking to be the best chasers here as well as myself as we try to help our teammates transfer through to the championship four right now as we go right around Casey Kane for a position. Now go by Kyle Larson. They try to move to 14th, but Kane is a big run. He gets clear. We give Larson a bump. Use him out there to get a huge wiggle we hang on to it off the side of Greg Biffle Jimmy big wheel behind us Kenseth gets around came but we get it underneath Biffle and Kenseth forced them up the racetrack getting to Kenseth he goes up in the wall and there goes Kenseth some spots we sack up Biffle here which in a way helps out Casey Kane powers way into 15th they're still behind the 55 Brian Vickers who is in 13th sorry 12th place as we pass Cole Witt for 13th Vickers and Logano we can see them up there ahead of us as we just Fence, Colway, use them as our brakes. Down pit road, green flag cycle. Blaney, Harvick come in for pit stops. Tony Stewart leading the race in a must win situation. Can you believe that? With 10 to go in the back of Reese. And Logano up the track, they go. We pass both of them. Logano loses some spots. And now we go on the inside of 55 of Brian Vickers and as Brad Keslowski in the two. As Newman battles Tony Stewart for the lead, we go three wide with Keslowski. Only get in the back of Truex. We slide up into Keslowski. More Stewart and them come down pit road. Now we're three wide with Keslowski. Contact behind us and around goes Keselowski behind us. The caution is going to come out as we nearly took the lead from Carl Edwards. And the seventh caution of the day will come out here at Phoenix in dramatic fashion with Chase and Championship 4 driver Brad Keselowski spinning as we used him up there into AJ Allmendinger and they bounced off the wall and sent Keselowski around in front of the pack. And look at the aftermath here that's going to come in right here. A big hits behind him up in the air and goes to 333 up. But Jeff Gordon goes car surfing a huge crash. Clint Boyer involved. Killowind up in the air. My goodness. Many chase drivers involved. And Tony Stewart just played this whole race. He's got flipped upside down. We stay on the racetrack here. The restart on the lead was just eight to go. We're going to battle Almendinger for the lead here. Vickers is only a robot. So we're door checking Almendinger. Use him up there. Move him up and out of our way. Use him up there on the wall. Now we're leading over Greg Biff. We try to pull it. We bounce off the wall. There goes Biff. There goes Vickers. Oh, there's Jim. I actually. There's a 48 of Jimmy Johnson. And it must 
get some in a great spot right now with all the points he's about to gain. He might transfer to the championship floor. We get the side of it before we use him up. He goes all the way up into the wall. Checks up. And now it's myself and Jimmy Johnson by the But we put the power down and get a huge run to the line. And we lead the way here with seven laps to go here in Phoenix. What a move. We power by Jimmy Johnson to take the lead. And behind him, Joey Logano runs in third as we look to put away this race win, which would be our sixth win in the playoffs, which is, no, our, sorry, our fifth win in the playoffs, which is crazy thing. We're going to five out of the nine chase races so far. Jim I do our inside, but we hold them off there. We lead the way here. Six to go in Phoenix. Six to go. Now we move on to two laps to go in Phoenix. It is all about fuel saving now. We really got to save some gas here. We barely have enough. We're holding off Jimmy Johnson, of course, still in second, chasing us down. Denny Hamlis or Tony Stewart has charged up to fourth, but kind of needed to win. He may come up just short of advancing to the championship four as we go wide. You're coming to take the white big lift, lifting all the way out the corner. Bounce off the wall, and here comes Jim Idor inside, and we got a battle now. Come with the way. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. We clear him, though, with our power down on exit. White flag, final lap. Zimmer like Criddle Bank here in Phoenix. Can we win the race to get two races in this a very crazy round of eight? Johnson behind us in second looks to transfer the championship four on points at the moment. I believe he is good on the points at the moment. We'll find out at the end of the episode. As we go through the three and four for the final time here in Phoenix, it is going to be a amazing comeback. We're going to hold off Jimmy Johnson, and we are going to win at Phoenix for our fifth win in the chase as a whole. And we put to bed the thought of three winners, only two winners in this round of eight. Myself, Kozlowski, guaranteed in with wins as now we burn it down in celebration. A big win there. We had the strategy late after that caution for Brad Keselowski spinning off the nose of AJ Almanier back there, causing chaos. So it allows us to restart on the front row, and we drove the final 10 laps of our life there, holding off Jimmy Johnson, six time, sorry, at this time, five. Oh, yeah, five-time champion, or six-time champion, sorry, six-time champion at this time to win it. That's our second race in this round that we have won, holding off one of our Hendrick Moore Sports teammates. It was Jeff Gordon at Martinsville, now Jimmy Johnson here in Phoenix as we burn it down. And to really cap off what's been an absolutely dominant, dominant chase and dominant season so far as we now celebrate Victory Lane with the hard-working crew. And now we're going to be the final race results here in Phoenix. Of course, myself, your winner, leading 10 laps, getting the job done. Jimmy Johnson, your runner-up. I think he's going to get the transfer to the final four. Denny Hamlin, third place finish. Ricky Stenhouse, fourth. Kevin Harvick rounds out the top five. Tony Stewart, chase contender, recovers for a sixth place finish, but I don't think it's going to be enough for him to make it through. Eric Almarola, seventh. JJ Yaley, eighth. Kyle Larson, ninth. And Kurt Busch rounds out your top ten here at Phoenix. Next chase contender will be Casey Kane finishing in 16th. He beats other contenders, looks like significantly, which might be what he needed. Boyer, 22nd. And then you're going to have all the way to rough finishes. Brian, Joey Logano, 37th, eliminated. Brian Vickers, 38th, eliminated. Brad Keselowski, 39th. David Reagan, 40th. Ty Dillon, 41st. All in your great bit for last. So now we see the updated chase grid. It looks like it's going to be down between Casey Kane and Clint Boyer for the final transfer spot. As we look at the updated chase grid, it is going to be Casey Kane getting that last spot as myself. Of course, we transfer with our two wins right away. Keselowski makes it the win to the championship four. Then Casey Kane and Jimmy Johnson point their way into the championship four. So it's a Hendrick threesome versus Keselowski for Penske. So of course, it means Tony Stewart eliminated as well as both Michael Waltrip cars, Boyer and Vickers. And Joy Logano is eliminated as well. So until next episode, we'll have the championship. I hope you all have a good one.